Welcome to Bobbin Talk. In this video, I want to show you how to do your 3D flats. And in 6.0, we have an update of the where the silhouette lines are. This time it is pulled out as a separate box called schematic render. So that's what you will need to click on in order to create your flats. But uh, before that, I would like to turn off the avatar so that we have just the garments in our window. And you can see that here I actually have a designated color. This can be changed and uh, you can give any color you like to your flats. In addition to choosing various silhouette lines, seam line, internal line and top stitch line in various thicknesses. Keep in mind that all of these can go uh, much thicker or much thinner. Um, I have seen some issues with uh, some of these lines bleeding into the background. So if for some reason the line color, whatever color you select here, um, bleeds into the background, then turn off silhouette line by clicking on this eye so we don't see that. If you have no problem, then you can keep it on. And obviously you can play with the thickness of the lines for all of these, the seam lines the internal lines if you have any and if you don't need or don't want any of these all you have to do is click on the eye if you have any kind of top stitching you can make that thinner or thicker also and you can also again play with the line color and the garment color by clicking on these two color uh, choices here and you can choose anything that works best for your particular concept I would suggest that you pick colors that are concept driven, something that would make um, your collection look better, that it would enhance your collection. And the brightness, you can also play with that here and see if that has any effect on the overall look of your collection. Once you're happy with that, come to File, Snapshot, 3D Window. And keep in mind, you can also um, right click um, and um, make one or the other outfit invisible but you would have to go to the 2d window select the whole pattern if you want just the top or the bottom and right click and hide that hide 3d pattern make sure they have all of them selected and that will give you the option to take a snapshot of just the top or the bottom or if you like both that is fine too but here we have just one and keep the schematic render open just go to file snapshot 3d window designate where this should go i will place this in a clo um, 3d flats folder i would give it a name that is appropriate for your collection maybe this is outfit one top make sure that the names will make sense when you look for them later click save and now we have all of the choices here in either a single view that's just one view of what you have in the window right now you can obviously rotate and give yourself a different view and just take a snapshot of that particular look Make sure that you adjust that in the 3D window until you're happy and choose the size of paper, the orientation that you want. Double check if that is what you like. Height, resolution, and all of that. If you wanna do multi-view, just click on multi-view, then you will have the choices here for every single one of these windows up here. These are the default layouts, but I already see that this does not look what I would like it to be. This looks like a great front. I would like this to be a back. So I'm going to go to the back and make sure that it is in the size that is appropriate for the page. Click on camera when you're done and you will see that this will change here. If you're not happy with the orientation or the look of it, then you can keep customizing. If you want a three quarter view, Again, you can select what you would like here. When you're happy with the orientation and the size, click OK. That will appear here. And take a look at these custom views and 
orient yourself within the 3D window, make sure that that's what you want, and then record these by clicking on the camera. Presets here are the same. We have all of these preset paper sizes, but you can also do a custom. For example, if this is for your presentation and you know that you will be using letter or tabloid, you can just select that. But if you have created some kind of a custom size, then click the custom and input the measurements that you need. The width and the height here would correspond to the custom sizes. Unit can also be changed. Resolution, I recommend that you stay above 200. You can go up to 300, but that might be, this is perfect for printing, for example. It might be a little too much for your computer and under 150 would be too low of a resolution. In the layout here, you can go from two all the way up to 10. Make sure that that is um, what you would want for that particular presentation. Maybe you wanna stay consistent from page to page. In the layout, you also have horizontal, vertical, box horizontal or box vertical. Again, horizontal or vertical would correspond to your overall presentation. I suggest that you create the perfect layout here so that you can just include it in your presentation. If you want a transparent background, you can select that. And I always recommend that you have save separate images on because that will give you not just this layout, but it will also give you every single one of those images saved separately so maybe you would need those for a presentation later okay so check what this looks like with or without the transparent background and make sure that then that's what you want when you're done and you've checked everything click save and then go to your uh, file and double check that everything has saved correctly so mine were in clo 3d flats and again it depends on your uh, name you would look for that particular layout and you will see if this is what you want so i have my layout overall and here i actually think that my outline can be a little bit thicker i would go back and i would redo that and then every single one of my images i'm checking on that and i also hear my front is large my back is not big enough so i would go back and redo the back to be a larger and I'm happy with this view and with that view. So when you're done, you can um, close this window and move on to the next one. And you can also um, bring back your pants, do a full outfit, or even change the color on this particular one just to see what it looks like. For example, the line color, maybe you want it to be darker. Click OK. And maybe the garment, you would like it to be a slightly different color. So make your choices and think of what you really need for your final presentation so you can save these images and use them in your final layout. If you found this video helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to Bob and Talk.